Greetings all, The Devious Monkey here. Today, I want to talk about videos. More importantly, what makes a video worth watching to you? I keep saying, as I go through this journey, that I want to up my game. Meaning, I want to be able to present a better video to you. What does better mean? I'm kind of wondering, because sometimes I think I shoot a really good video, and I think it has pertinent, good information. I think the footage looks good, the lighting's on point, the sound is on point. I might even pick a good song for it. I think it's great, and I get no views on it. Nobody's interested. Other times, I throw together a shit video, what I consider a shit video, that I'm like pushed for time and I got a lot to do and I'm kind of stressing out, so I just sort of throw something together, edit it really quick, throw it up, and it gets a shit ton of views. I have watched so many videos that talk about this kind of stuff that is kind of staggering. I go in waves when I'm watching videos. So let's say I'm gonna buy a camera, like if I were gonna buy the A6600, or I was gonna buy the ZV-1. I went through and watched as many videos as I possibly could about those cameras. Same thing goes for lenses, lights, microphones, you name it. I tend to look up as much information as possible and do as much research, usually one to three days before I make my decision depending on what it is, because sometimes I know what I want and I don't give a shit what anybody thinks and I'll go buy it. I go to videos and I do a search for it and then I start scanning through and scanning through and scanning through because there's so many videos on every topic. Really what it gets down to is I look at one, who is making the video. So if it's somebody that I've watched before and I trust, I'll, I'll go look at their video. Two, I'll look at the video length. If I wanna know something about a video, I'm not gonna watch something that's 45 minutes. I just don't have that kind of attention span. Most videos, unless I'm watching a documentary or an old movie that happens to be uploaded to YouTube, I won't watch anything that's, that's past a half an hour. And sometimes I, I, I mean, I question if it goes over 20 minutes. It's why I usually try to keep my videos so short because you know, what the average view is like two minutes, three minutes on most videos, at least my videos. So there's no point in me making a 17 minute video if I actually plan to have everybody watch to the end. Now, some people are hardcore and they will watch it. I will do that too. All right, so I'm looking at who the creator is. I'm looking at video length time, but apparently what is incredibly popular and a great way to sort through a video and whether or not you want to watch it is the thumbnail. Hmm. So you're judging a book by its cover, and we all do it. I know that I usually don't put a lot of time into my video thumbnails. Prior to the beginning of this year, I didn't even put any kind, of, usually didn't put any kind of text over it to describe anything or, or a title or any of that kind of stuff. And I usually just took a screenshot from my video and up it went. Apparently that's a horrible thing to do. And you're supposed to put a lot of time into actually creating a masterpiece thumbnail and you're supposed to you know put all this eye-catching stuff on the front whether it be a graphic or a title and you know text something that's what's supposed to get people's attention in fact i know a lot of creators that they basically start with a fantastic thumbnail and they develop their video from that which i think is insane because I can take your picture of this camera setup right here, and you can see the light behind it, and the grid, the honeycomb grid, and you can see the microphone sitting off the A6600, and you can see the A6600 sitting on the phone, and you can see yourself in it, and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, and I could take this epic picture, and I could put all kinds of shit on it, and that amazes me that somebody would actually pick a video based on that thumbnail on whether or not they were gonna actually watch the video and get whatever information out of it that the video is you know, supposed to be about. And clearly, I don't have 300,000 followers. I guess it's because I don't take the time to do my thumbnails. I, I, I don't know. I guess I like to think that, that I'm giving forth information that, that's actually usable and valuable, but I guess a lot of people aren't going to watch it if I don't put a good thumbnail. In other words, you might like my present to you, but you didn't like the wrapping paper. Doesn't make sense to me, but okay, I, I guess I'm gonna have to accept that. When you're watching a video though, you know, another thing that amazes me is how many people click on a video. You look at the average duration of the time that it gets watched, and let's say I have a, a 15 minute video. Someone might watch two minutes of it. The average duration is two to three minutes, and that's it. The way a lot of videos go is that there's sort of an intro, then the meat and potatoes, and then a conclusion. So if you're stopping, right after the intro and you're not even looking at the meat and potatoes, you're missing like the entire message of the video. I think I noticed 
If you watch like early MTV, and now I grew up, I'm a child of the 80s, so I started at the very start of MTV, back when it was music television and they actually played music videos. If you go back and you look at those videos, well, in the 80s, most of it was just bands that were dead drunk and they were stumbling around on stage or doing shit, you know, while they were on the road and it just happened to be getting filmed, they jumbled it into a video and that, that became their video for the song. If you look at videos that were put together well, I noticed that most of the camera work was very stationary. So the camera was on a tripod and the band was behind or in front of the camera and they were doing their stuff and people would come on and occasionally it might move, I'm sorry, it might pan or tilt, but it never moved from where it was. Then I remember watching a Britney Spears video and I don't remember what song it was, but it, it was like the, the camera was clearly on a well, it was on a number of devices, and the, and the, it was up, it was down, it was spinning around them. It, you know, I mean, it was unbelievable how much that camera moved. I think in this day and age, with such short attention spans and, and being such visual creatures, because everybody's got a cell phone, everybody's got an iPad, everybody's got a tablet or something like that, people are constantly looking at stuff. And it literally is like that joke on Family Guy, but the, ooh, shiny red ball. Like attention spans are so short that you have to constantly keep things moving or people lose interest. Go back and watch old videos. Go pull up some 80s videos and, and watch the camera work and then pull up something from the last even 10 years and see if you see what I'm talking about. So I'm starting to watch these videos and I'm seeing, okay, which ones are the most popular? Other than ones that have really hot chicks in them and stuff like that, or your occasional male creator, most of the, the popular male creators though, they're not sitting here like this. They're not doing what I'm doing, which is just a, a straight up vlog where I'm talking to you. Most of them, there's drone footage in it, there's jet skis, there's motorcycles, there's Jeeps, there's downhill skiing, there's surfing, there's all this crazy movement and everything. And that's what everybody just gravitates for. These people that have millions of followers, it's because they're all these crazy active adventurous and, and people just seem to eat that shit up. Now, within the videos, you start seeing that people are using like motion titles. So it isn't just like me where the only text that you're gonna see is when I have my thumbnail now because I've been putting text on all my thumbnails. Or sometimes if I make a huge mistake and I don't feel like refilming that section, I will put some text, I will put a title in the you know, a title generator, I'll put some text in there saying, well, actually this is what it was. But I don't have like floaty shit I don't have, you know, things that appear and disappear and get big and move around and all that kind of stuff. But the most movement you get is from me acting like a Muppet. Now that gets to the gist of what I'm talking about. What do you look for in a video? What holds your attention? What draws you there in the first place? And most importantly, what keeps you there? Is it that there's just movement and it isn't just some dumbass sitting here talking to you? It's out and about and all that kind of stuff and people doing stuff and I got you in the car with me or I've got you on my bike or I got you when I'm falling down trying to roller skate or I'm at the boardwalk or, or anything like that. Or is it because there are all kinds of call outs and there's, there's big text things that pop up here and over here and all that kind of stuff. Graphics and charts and I cut away to a whiteboard where I'm drawing, you know, or there's some kind of animation. There's so much stuff going on in these videos that to me sometimes it's distracting. I want the information. Give me the information and let's be done with it. What do you look for? That's really what I want to know. This is what I'm looking for. One, what draws you to a video? Two, what do you like when you're watching that video? What keeps you engaged in that video? And three, what makes you come back to that creator now that you've watched their videos? Or the opposite end, what keeps you from choosing a video? Like you'll look, eh, I'm not watching that. What makes you turn away from a video? If you actually pick a video and you're watching it, what turns you off? What's just like, nope, I'm not gonna watch anymore. And, and then I guess after that, what makes you not wanna go back and look at anybody's stuff again? Because I know that everybody makes videos that, as I'm fond of saying, you can't hit, get a hit every time at bat. Sometimes videos just, they're just shit. If you watch one of those videos of mine, and let's just say that it's one that I think is shit, that's actually shit, and you agree that it's shit. Now, you've watched that video, it could completely turn you off watching any of my stuff. And I've got hundreds of videos now. So you're gonna miss out on all those other videos. Why? That's what I wanna know. And that was the gist of this video. And it was just my belabored blathering on typical way of getting to that point. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that stuff. What draws you to a video? What keeps you watching a video? And what makes you come back?
That's what I want to know. And that's all I wanted to say today. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.